Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel Walking Thoughts Nebraska. For this weekend, our adventure is going to be a little bit different as we are going to go for a wildlife safari. Every time we go for our hiking adventures and we pass by IETEs, we'll see the sign that welcomes everyone to the wildlife safari here in Ashland, Nebraska. We didn't really have the opportunity to be able to go there before and this weekend we made it a point to go and check out what it is all about. After about a 35 minute drive east from our hometown of Lincoln, Nebraska, we are here now going to the entrance of the wildlife safari. This is the Lee G. Simmons Conservation Park and Wildlife Safari. This is a 440-acre drive through park and it includes scenic prairies and wetlands that feature dozens of native North American animals. The first animals we saw at the park is over here on your left side. You're going to see the American elks. The elk is one of the largest species within the deer family and one of the largest terrestrial mammals in its native range of North America. We are now entering the next part of the park, which is Deer Woods, which is about 10 acres of grassland and a wooded ravine. We are trying to look closely so maybe we could view a white-tailed deer as they blend into their natural environment. When you are here at the park, you are instructed to maintain a speed limit of 7 miles per hour, which is really good because just like those deers trying to blend in their environment, you have a time to be able to see them and appreciate them. Another rule that we have to remember is that we have to stay in our car except in designated areas. This is one of the designated areas where you could park and be able to hike. So we took this opportunity to stretch and look out what other animals will be in the area. From this trail guide, we were able to learn that in this area, we could see the American black bear and the gray wolf. We could also extend our hike to be able to see their frog legs, so we are going to check out all of those stops. Our first stop was to see the American black bears, which is a medium-sized bear native to North America. We didn't see them there as maybe they are still hibernating, so we continue our hike to be able to see where the gray wolves are. As we continue to hike, you're going to see a lot of signs like that one on the right that says stay on our path and don't disturb the animals, which we are going to follow. We are now on our way to see the gray wolves. Gray wolves are also called timber wolves. They are the largest wild member of the dog family and they inhabit vast areas of the northern hemisphere. There are about 5 to 24 subspecies of gray wolves that are recognized here in North America. 7 to 12 are recognized in Eurasia and one in Africa. If you pay close attention, you're going to see them laying there and resting. We're going to stay for a few minutes to observe them and then we're off to our next part of the trail. The walking trail here at the Wildlife Safari is not that long, but it is a great opportunity to be able to stretch and see the nature around you. We are now on our way to be able to see what they call Frog Lake, where we are supposed to see different species of frogs. We reached the Frog Lake and we are going to spend a few minutes here like what we did in the Grey Wolf area. We're going to take time to be able to catch our breath and look what's around us. After checking out the American Black Bear area, the Wolf area, and the Frog Lake, we are headed back to where our parking space is. Before we go to our car, we're going to check one of their corrals first to be able to have a hands-on experience. When you go inside the corral, you're able to go near the goats and pet them. They just ask that you be gentle. There is also a person there who could respond to your questions about this breed. Hey. 
after our hike and time with the goats, we are now back in our car to continue our safari adventure. The next part of the park is the Pelican Wetlands. Pelican Wetlands is home to American white pelicans and other native wildlife such as turtles and frogs. Here you're going to see over there a group of pelicans that are showing us their wingspans. Several species of wild birds visit the wetlands as well. This includes blue and green winged tail, wood ducks, great blue heron, green heron, and American coot. And now when you look over to your right, you're going to see the crane meadows area. This is the part where our sandhill cranes are. You're going to see them resting and just hanging out. We are now headed to one of the highlights of the safari, which is the Bison Plains. Bison Plains is situated in over 40 acres of land and they have an overlook as well. We did not stop at the overlook anymore, but as you can see, bisons are everywhere. Bison can stand 5 to 6.5 feet tall at the shoulder and can weigh over 2,000 pounds. Despite their massive size, bisons are quick. They are able to run up to 40 miles per hour. We are almost at the end of the safari adventure. And as always, we want to say thank you for joining us in all of our adventures, whether that's a hiking adventure or a safari adventure like this one. We'll see more bisons as we go on our way out. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell as well. That way, whenever we have a new video, you'll be updated. We'll see you next time. Bye!